let us find the software that we're going to need for studying. First things first, the operating system. We need Oracle Enterprise Linux 5.4. To find that, you can go to OTN Oracle Com, and from there navigate through downloads in here. Now if you click on Linux and VM, that'll redirect you to eDelivery Oracle Com slash Linux. Sign in, and then you want to select Oracle Linux here. Platform is x86 64-bit, and to match the software that's listed on Oracle's um, certification site, uh, you want to grab 5.4. Okay, so release 5, update 4, 64-bit, navigate into there, and what you want to do is grab the DVD. Not the source DVD, the full DVD. Okay? Don't waste your time with these uh, broken up CDs. It's, you, you only need the DVD. Okay, so as you can see now, my download is going. While that's going, let me go back to OTN and download my software. So under Downloads, Database 11G, uh, if I go over here to Linux 64-bit, you could download the two files that comprise the database, but I usually click on See All, and that navigates me to the specific page for that particular platform, in this case Linux 64-bit, and I accept the license agreement, and I want these two files plus grid infrastructure right there. Okay, so let me just start those. So these two are the database product. This one is grid infrastructure. We need GI in order to have ASM and uh, cluster, uh, well, not, not so much clusterware. Well, I guess clusterware. I mean, we're going to look at rack and everything, too. And uh, that's pretty much all we need from here. Okay? The client could be useful, and possibly the deinstall tool could be useful as well, but nah, I'm not interested in, you know, that. So, uh, lastly, we need grid control. Now, I did say grid control. Uh, the exam requires 10205, so we go to Enterprise Manager. Okay, grid control is one of the sub product names of Enterprise Manager. So we go to Enterprise Manager, and you'll notice that, of course, 12C is the latest release, but we are not interested in that. We are interested in scrolling all the way down here to 10.2, and specifically 10205. Now, notice that 10205 is only available as a patch installer. So if we go through here and we look for the, the full installer, we're lucky we don't have to go all the way back to 10.2.0x. <coughs> we're okay with 10.2.0.3, where we can get a 64-bit full installer. So we want to grab this, and we also want to grab the patch installers for 10.2.0.5. So I'm going to right-click on this, open a new tab, and I'm going to right-click on this and open a new tab and then download the relevant files. Now, it's interesting because actually both tabs navigated to the same page. And notice that over here, if I accept the license agreement and scroll down, I can grab 10205 patches. These two zips represent the patches. So there we go. And if I scroll down a little more, I can find 10203, which is the full install. And once again, I want to download that and download this. Now as you can see my internet link is pretty busy. Um, I've got two files representing the database, one file representing grid infrastructure, two files representing 10.2.0.5 uh, grid control uh, patch, <coughs> and well two files, the second one hasn't started yet, but two files to represent um, the um, uh, 10203 full installer of grid control. This is all the software you're going to require. You download it, you extract it all into um, relevant directories, and make them available for installation.